What's up, y'all? It's Debbie, and I want to bring y'all a little video about defense. Basic boo boo to fool defense for bunch. You know, a lot of people running bunch has been the best offense in Madden for probably, you know, at least the last three years, and it's probably the best this year again. And I'm going to show you what some basics that I do versus bunch that kind of goes through my head against bunch defensively. You know, people just think you call the same thing on defense every time, or, or vice versa, the same thing on offense. And I'm going to do just. Just the basics of what I see when I go up against a bunch. And I'm actually going to use the Tampa Bay bunch. I think it's very important to know what bunch your opponent has. And, you know, some tells early in the game, like, you have to know. It's crazy how much we know about the playbooks. Like, what book has PA post? What book has deep corner routes to the right? What book has a post coming from the lone receiver? All these things are important to know when you're going into playing against the bunch, you know. Because that dictates how you're going to play defense. But mostly the main play that, that, you know, everybody runs. I mean, you can be 12 years old, you can be 42 years old, or you can be a professional player. That's probably PA Post. That's probably one of the main plays that everybody runs. And we're going to hopefully try to move the hash, but I'm not not on offense here. But the main thing that I'll tell you this is that cover two to me is still the best defense for bunch because the main things you have to think about a bunch are the corner routes. That's what makes it so good to have quick corner routes both to the bunch side and they have the C route to the left side receiver. You know, so those are two things going into the play that I really don't want to get hit with are the corner route to the bunch side or the C route over here to the lone wide receiver side. So most of the time when I'm playing bunch, I'll leave my cloud flats. I'll never go down and hard flat because I'm used to playing bugs or skimbo or somebody that's going to see that every time and hit the corner route. And if you hit the corner route, you'll get a one-on-one -on -one with the safety and one juke, that's a touchdown. So most of the time I like to keep my clouds like this now now obviously if you're going to run cover two a lot of people will deep blue the middle guy to take away the seam you know like that but what i like to do honestly is not do that to and i just bring this safety down like right here obnoxiously because there's nobody that's going to threaten you to the deep right side of the field now obviously if they take deshaun jackson and motion him out i'll have to move this guy all the way back to kind of where he was but if they're not motioning anybody out i, I really like to put my safety right in the linebacker spot that way, if they try to throw a seam, he's in better position to go get it. You know, because if you leave him all the way back up here, you know, he's not going to cover the seam. So I like to bring him down here like that, like so, even this one down to the, this wide receiver side. So that's pretty much what I do to try to stop the seam. And you have the corner route covered. The only thing that's going to hurt you to that side is maybe a little uh, out route or a flat route to the tight end. But hopefully you can make the tackle. And the way the zones are playing now, that, that that tackle will probably only net maybe, you know, two or three yards. And if someone's willing to take that all the way down the field, you have to tip your cap to them. But the other thing I do is another thing that's obviously been a powerful route in Madden for years is the drag route. Now, if you look at Bunch, there's only so many. There we go. We get a sack on the computer. That's what we need. But there's only so many players in Bunch that can run a drag. And three of them are on the right side of the field. So if they're running the drag from the right, they're going to wind up on the left. So a lot of times I like to do people double flat, double flat. But I don't. you never do that to both sides. But sometimes I'll, I'll put this corner right here in a hard flat. So that's why I have two flats over here, you know, for the drag and the C route. You know, because a lot of people will just drag the tight end or drag A or drag B. And they'll come over here and they'll hit, they'll hit the drag because you have to guard the C route over here. You know, so you'll have cloud flats so they'll want to hit the, the drag. So a lot of times, this is probably my base. Move the safety down. Probably one of my base defenses against Bunch. You know, because I have these double flats over here, I never have to worry about the running back on a, on a flat route, a drag, or anything like that. I pretty much have to worry about the middle of the field. Obviously, a little out route to the tight end or a wide receiver might hurt me because I just have a cloud over there. But like I said, that's okay. You know, you have this safety. You put him in a box to go ahead and stop the seam up the middle. And you pretty much had a whole middle of the field, you know, by yourself. So you'll come with uh, slants coming over from right to left. And even a lot of times this wide receiver, the long wide receiver, a lot of times will be the guy they put on a slant or a drag or in route when they're trying to attack deep down the field the right side. Now, Tampa Bay does have the curl flat play that has a big, a big corner route in it. So for that type of play, you have to be worried about that and you have to be prepared to go lurk that. Now, when people run that play, what what they'll do is they'll put this backside guy on the drag or in route so a lot of times i like to man up this backside guy just in case they do a play like that where they're looking to hit deep down the right side of the field and i'll be able to lurk with my linebacker go run back here and get the deep corner route 
and still have that backside drag or slant covered with my linebacker. So like I said, the base thing I like to do is I like to double flat the long wide receiver side so I don't get killed with drags or the C route. I like to bring my safety in the middle of the field and pretty much allow them to throw underneath over here to the tight end, you know, and make the tackle. Hopefully your guy over here, I got Crawley, I got the Saints versus the Bucks right here, and Crawley can go ahead and make some plays for me. And mostly I like to make sure I get the middle of the field down pat. And last thing, last but not least, sometimes I like to cross man. This long wide receiver for any type of drags or slants or even buck sale in um in this playbook has a little post. So hopefully you have a fast enough linebacker. Maybe you have you no know, Ed Reed linebacker. You have Ray Lewis or Talvin Smith, somebody like that that can cover these wide receivers a little bit. Obviously they're not going to blanket them, but if you have one that just gets in their way a little bit and covers them, you know it'd be good and allow you to come over here and lurk the deep corner route. Now I'll show you an example of me doing this kind of exact setup, a little bit different play against Skimbo in the Madden Classic and I'll show you exactly how it works and what's good about it. But these are the basic things that I do for Bunch. Hopefully you can add these to your offense and they can go ahead and, and you know make you a little bit better you know defend a bunch that pretty much the nation runs now and, and if you can sl slow down the, the initial plays make them look to their second and third read you can have a lot of success especially against lesser players. I'm going to add more to the bunch video coming down. Make sure y'all get this to 200 likes and I'll add a lot more Defending Bunch videos from here on out. So here you go. This is my game against Skimbo in the Madden Classic. It's late in the fourth quarter. I'm winning by four. He has the ball. And what I do here is I man up uh, Alexander on his wide receiver, which is Lockett, far across the field. I'm going to lurk deep down the left side. The left side is my responsibility. The only person that can hurt me that I can't guard is the wide receiver on the wide side. And I man him up. Able to go ahead and lurk deep down the field, get an interception that pretty much sealed this game versus Skimbo. So, like I said, if you can do these adjustments against the best player in the world, you can do them against anybody online, anybody you're playing against that runs bunch. They really work. So, hopefully, you use these and y'all get better defending bunch. All right, man. Nerd!